What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another. Gonna open a mythic that's not a J stream. <laughs> uh, I was this gonna is, say that. This is an eight mana Chroma. Uh, not as playable as Jace the Mind Sculptor. Not worth as much. This is probably worth a shiny nickel. Uh, so you might say one one thousandth of a Jace. It might be the pick, though. Decent assessment. Really? You think so? I mean, it's pretty good, right? It's pretty good. It's expensive. There we go. There we go. All right, so, uh, I mean, I also like this. I like this. I like this. This is fine. Oh, God. Is it worth anything so that I can at least feel good about it? No way. Not oh, God. Years. Oh, God. Literal one cent. Literal. I said 50 cents. It's one cent. Let's get off the calculator. Um, empty... By point oh one, it is one five thousandth of a. <laughs> whoop, whoop, whoop. Guess we're red white. One five thousandth of a Jace is what this is worth. One five thousandth. Jace is worth five thousand times as much as a Chroma, so that's that's you know we get that. <laughs> Oh boy, Cloud Shift is good now, right? Yeah, I guess we're doing that. Might have been just Fiend Hunter, but it's not. It's With a Kindle, it's, it's a Chroma. We'll Kindle. Yeah, now we're just red white. At least that a Chroma you can morph, so it's probably way better. So yeah, if you open with it in your hand, you're actually just fine. It's just a two two. Oh, for crying out loud! You know what's funny? This is the second time we've had both Chromas in our draft. Still zero Jaces. That's just funny to me. Just a little, just a little humor there. Two regrows here. I just take the path, right? Mm-hmm. So what are? <laughs> oh, the odds of getting both Chromas in your draft before tw two times before you open a single Jace. That's got to be some. That's got to be some numbers. I'll email Frank Karsten and be like, "What are the odds of this man?" And then he can be like, "Oh, it's real low." I like Path. I like Noble Templar. I like Dauntless Cathar. What does Dauntless Cathar do? Just a three-two for three, but you can exile it from the graveyard to make a one-one flyer. That seems decent. It does seem decent. Probably better than the second Path or a uh, Noble Templar. That's fine. I don't like many of these cards. Active Heroism might be the best card in this pack. I think Tricks are underrated in this format. Yeah, I'm just going to take this guy. It's literally the best pick for us, and that's, that's kind of sad. Wow. Exile an instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Sacrifice it to cast any number of the cards exiled with it without paying their money. That's just terrible. That takes like nine years to do. It takes a th and you have to have good these in your graveyard. I do like blast, but it's probably gonna come back. That's why we don't take blast that highly. I'm gonna take self assembler. I think self assembler is fine. fine. God's willing. Uncaged fury. Can we uncage fury in a chroma? That's pretty good, right? Yeah. That just kills you on the spot, right? We can't do it with this one, though, with the pro red, but. Like Chemistry's. What? I like Scott Willing. Yeah, same. If we play Simeon Spirit Guide, we can actually cast a Chroma on 5, 6, 7, 8. Or I guess we can flip it on turn 5. I'm just going to take the line. Hey, another Dauntless Cathar. Is that better than the second path or a second God's Willing? Yes. I think so, too. Act of Atrezion. Or the Horde. Or Balbubi and Horde. Eh, Skirt Commando's fine. Whatever. What's Skirt Commando do? It's a 2-2 that when you flip it up, if they didn't block it, uh, if whenever it deals combat damage to a player, um, you can deal 2 damage to a creature they control. So you attack with your morph. If they don't block, you're like, flip it. It deals damage to you, and then you get to deal two damage to one of their guys. Okay. 
Okay. But excuse me. Oh, pillage. Okay. Well, every card ended up being in our colors. I don't think we're going to play... What if we could just play the Cinderstorm and just kill them with it? Deal seven to a creature or a player for seven now? That's a very fair card. Hey, another one of this guy. <laughs> cool. I think it's actually just Ravenous Chupacabra here. We're not definitely red. This is not really playable. This is not really playable. This doesn't have to be red because we can just cloud shift it. Chup is pretty good. Yeah, Chup is probably better than anything in this pack. It's definitely better than anything in this pack, so. Chup it is. We can also splash a Cinder Storm or a Kindle off of, like, a Prophetic Prism. I mean, if you can play Plague Wind for nine, you can play a Chroma for eight, right? This one works out that fast. It's not, that's actually pretty good. That lets us play the other cards. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, I'll take this. I think this is fine. Does Mike speak some kind of pig Latin where you put a B at the end of any word that starts with a vowel? Maybe. Bokeh. Bokeh. Wow. Actual nothing in this pack, too. Dauntless Cathar number three. I guess. Or we could just take Cloud Blazer and start splashing things aggressively. I think this is better than Dauntless Cathar number three, so... I think we just take this and... Uh, I don't think we're playing any of it. I think... Oh. This is actually the best card for us, ironically. And we'll main deck it. And it's four tickets, so... Cool. Everybody wins. Rats off to you. Rats off to your mama. Oh, Cloud Shift. Seems obvious. We got Cloud Blazer and Chupacabra and uh, Chroma. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be shifting all day, boy. I'm not taking Kong Ming over Cloud Shift. Our deck is Cloud Shift City. We built Cloud Shift City on rock and roll. God. I feel like Mike is actually in a coma. He's actually in a vegetative state. Yeah, this helps. This is... Oh, Supernatural Stamina is also very good on both on all three of these, so... Yeah, we're taking that. Yeah, so I think we're black... We're, we're, I think we're black-white here, and we're splashing blue-red. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't even know if we're taking... I don't even know if we care about the... Actually, we... Maybe. Who knows? I don't know what's going on right now. 1,500 cheers. Timar, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome. Thank you. Sometimes you just open two Acromas instead of a Jace. What are you going to do? God, he won't shut up about the two Acromas and over a Jace. He just keeps saying it. Wow. Hmm. I always took the... Uh... The what? The, the bird there. What oh, was the bird? The griffin? Yeah. I just want to make sure we hit our cards. Like, I want to be able to go through our deck, you know? I don't know if this black splash is working. The black is our second... It's like our main color now, man. We're not really getting black cards, though. We're not really getting any cards. Keep it in mind. Oh, look, now we can skeletonize. Regeneration's going to be easy peasy, my friend. <laughs> This is definitely a pile. A pile of beauty. On a scale of 1 to 10, how am I? I'm probably about a solid 8 to 9 right now, I think. Pretty good. Pretty good. Wow, without opening Jace, you're that high? I think so. Okay. But excuse me? What about Mike? What are you? I would be an eight if I had a milkshake. What are you without a milkshake? Probably like a six. A six? Yeah. A milkshake is responsible for two points? Yeah, I think two points, yeah. That's about fair. Wow, dude. That's brutal. If this is in the if you cast this as a morph and then it dies, can you unearth it? <laughs> Don't think so. Oh, that's too bad. Well, that's unfortunate. Biscuit.
excuse me. No one's excusing you. What about my dad? He doesn't even care. He's not even here. You're right. He's he's still gone with the cigarettes. Gone with the wind means gone with the cigarettes. They met each other? Yeah. Wow. It was exciting. Wow. Everyone was there. Wow. Everyone who was who was everyone? Everyone you ever knew. Everyone I ever knew was there? Yeah. That's really strange. Yeah. Think about it. I, I am. That's how I'm able to, to determine that it's very strange. I don't hate Dark Ritual with a chroma in the deck. Don't you, though? Because it's triple white. Yeah, but then you just go white, 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 black, black, dark ritual, right? Three, four, five, six, seven. Black, 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 dark ritual. Where's the milkshake of choice? I'm a big Chick fil A shake kind of guy. That's a, that's a good, that's a solid option. It's too late, though. They're Whatever. Close. I'll take a blood, blood moon. moon. Okay. I think tickies. you mean, but okay. How many tickies is that? 18. It's a good amount of tickies. Yeah, that's almost the whole draft again, so I guess we'll just take the Blood Moon. And it also can't be played against us now because we do have an Ash Barrens and a Rugged Prairie. I wasn't really worried about that. I guess it's Spike Shot Goblin here. Yeah. Maybe we're more red now. I don't know what's going on. I'm really confused. Cougar? I was going to take Noble Temple. Oh, we, sure, already got a, we got one Cougar. God, Mystic Snake, though. It's like they're taunting us. Yeah, just splash it, man. I do like a good Frosted Lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Japoshi agrees. So just splash the snake, man. <sighs> Brilliant. Oh, God. Were you expecting a Jace there? You know, I wasn't. But... It's almost insulting, though, right? It's pretty bad. Ooh. Not even a cent. It's worth point zero zero three cents. One third of a penny. Times are tough. <laughs> the foil, however, is worth one dollar. Ooh. I guess it's just Kindle here, right? Or is it Bloodhunter Bat? It's Kindle. Yeah, it is Kindle. We really need to shore up these colors. Because this is looking oh, now like it's a train bat. wreck. Now it's Bat. Now it's bat, or is it perilous mirror? I think it's bat. Yeah, this deck's gonna be rough. It's gonna be beautiful. It is gonna be rough. <laughs> MTGO has no no tree guarantee. They don't care about your dollar. Your almighty dollar. Almighty doll hair. Pyro hound? Oh, wait, Herbert's protected. There you Old Herbums. I really want another uh, Cloud Shift here, but we do have one Supernatural Stamina, which is kind of like a Cloud Shift. Also, this deck looks great, aside from the colors. It's a pretty big issue, though. I think you do mean Burbus Protecti. Milkshake man. Living on a milkshake plant. Are you? Yeah. Are you? Mm -hmm. Hmm. What's your milkshake plan? I really want to go get one. That doesn't sound like a plan. That sounds like a desire. Aren't they one and the same? No, a plan means you actually have to do it. But I kind of don't want to leave. So it's not a plan. It's a desire. Maybe. Huh. I admit to nothing. Huh. <laughs> I have no idea what to take here. This deck is looking... Brutal. Maybe we're not black. Could have told you that. Yeah, but you didn't, so it doesn't matter, I guess. I try. I I encouraged it to not be. 
You encouraged it to not be? Give me that Crimson Mage. I was going to take this. You don't like Geist of the Oh, Mage? that's fine. I didn't see that. Typical. Oh, ma black Black's back on the menu, boys. I don't think it is. It's back <laughs> on the menu, boys. <laughs> it's <laughs> not. It's really sign. not. It's really not. Hey, Crimson Maggio. There you go. Hey, it's a Crimson Maggio. That's from the Italian. That's from the Italian. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. All right, what are we cutting here for these black cards? Your mom. <laughs> wasn't funny. I don't know why I laughed at that. Yeah, you did laugh. And I, I, I understand that, and I said I don't know why, okay? Supernatural Stammer seems kind of messed. Really good with Chupacabra, Cloud Blazer, Flipachroma, and Bat, you mean? Do you really want to play Cloud Shifter in this deck? We, we have, have a prophetic prism. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't I don't know what problem is. Uh, I think you do. I'm not sure I understand. We have Ash Barons, buddy. We have plenty of playable red cards in our sideboard. Like what? Crimson Mage? Yeah. Okay, that was just that wasn't that was a joke. You weren't supposed to really say that. Really? Yeah, that guy's fine. No, he is fine. That's why, I mean, we were supposed to agree because it was fine, so. Hmm? Just shut up. Oh, bar bomb, Curiosity. Boom. Combo. Right here. You see it? You see the combo? Kill him. Not impressed. Dang. I don't know what's going on with this deck, but we're going to win all our matches. So, huh. I'm, not, I'm not really too worried about it. Well, that's good. Yeah, I think it's pretty sweet. Like, red can definitely be our splash here. Like, we have Prism, Rugged Prairie, Ash Barons, and we have uh, Chartooth Cougar. So, urine, urine. Stop saying urine. <laughs> I put one blue in. Two of this one in. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, sixteen, eighteen. So this is actually seven white sources with an ash brown. It's actually eight. So seven, eight, nine, ten, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. We gotta cut one. Probably this. I think this is actually pretty good. Done. Nailed it. Master. Masterpiece. Masterclass and masterpiece. I don't know how we lose. You don't either? Okay, cool. Sounds good. Let's do it. I feel like if we actually do manage to cast our spells, we'll be in really good shape. Oh, I think so too, because all our spells are... Guess! That was my best John Ralphio impression, I think. It's pretty good. Yeah, he's pretty obnoxious. Can you order... Can you get milkshakes delivered? Is that a thing? Uh, I bet you can, but it's probably going to cost just as much to get delivered as the actual milkshake. So you're just going to be paying for like a $8 milkshake, $9 milkshake. Yeah, that's not good value. It's really not. Keep it. One white, and I'm on and I'm on board. 
Wow, oh three oh is that three draws or is that three losses? Look, we got Ravenous Chupa Copper Man, brah. Yeah, brah. Yeah, brah. Planes? That is not a planes. Watch, nope. we're gonna. Oh, it's also gonna be hard to transport a milkshake too. I imagine it would probably melt, right? Watch, we're gonna draw a chroma. White, a white chroma is up next. Oh, I'm gonna kill that thing immediately. I don't want any shenanigans here. Oh god, what if they have invigorate? Oh, thank God they didn't have invigorate. Okay, sure. I accept. I would have preferred a white mana due to, uh, you know, reasons, but... You said doo-doo. <laughs> I said doo too, but I said it didn't sound like doo-doo doo -doo reason, doo -doo reasons. It sounded like doo-doo reasons. You're not wrong. White Acroma's coming up, boys. Third Tone Loyal Century. Not a lot of pressure here. Another white card. Okay. It's my Mario song. I don't think you own it. <laughs> Can you prove it? No. Well, I guess you don't have an argument then. I just don't think that's true. That's that's your opinion. I guess, you are correct. I guess we'll let the courts decide, huh? You think we're going to court over this? Bro, I know we are. Do you? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot that dude. You ready? Planes. Oh, man, man. Rugged Prairie is also acceptable. Oh, that also kills it. Give me my skeleton. This is what I know it makes me laugh. Look at that. <laughs> this is my skeleton that always makes me laugh, just so you know. Attack with his loyal center. I will oh, a Rashad in port? Wow, against my four color deck? What are the odds? See this on your videos on YouTube and I finally caught a stream. I have to say I enjoy your videos a lot and I hope you continue to publish awesome. Thanks, thanks so much, man. Really appreciate it. The Uber Dane. The Uber Dane, I should say. Oh, gorgeous. Gorgeous, Georgish. Georgious? Georgish? Yep. You're a weird dude. Yep. I don't like you. Okay. I think you mean bouquet? But maybe. Sure. Do 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 do. Wow, multiple fencing aces. I'm intrigued. The Uberdane, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome to the Salt High Brood. Thankfully, you're here here live and not uh, not on YouTube. It's good to be alive. Oh, what are you gonna tap down? My planes, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. It's actually pretty brutal. It ain't. Oh, got him. This is how we do. I like being in the present as well. That's where I live. I wouldn't mind being in the future, I think, as well. Because that sounds like a cool place to be. <laughs> hey, man, you ever seen these skeleton eyes? No. That's unfortunate. Skeleton eyes. They're watching you. Now they're going to tap the blue because we have two white. And then we're just going to play Urbis Protector. Yep. What a dummy. To the surprise of no one. <laughs> That's a good guy too, but I'd rather just play the big dude. I think it's safe to say our deck is crushing. Is it not? good so far. I would actually love to live in the past so I could tell myself that Bitcoin is a good idea. Yeah, or Google stock. Either one. Or Apple stock. Or... And I also think we have two pillage in the... We don't have stone rain, but we do have like two pillage in the sideboard, which is just upgraded stone rain, right? It's 
Fell in that blue, huh? That's pretty good. I guess we're hoping they don't have a Chroma's Vengeance. Because <laughs> we have a Chroma. <laughs> Mike B, what do you know about being alive? Your homunculus false pizza, flesh pizza implanted with a replicant's false memories about his father going out for marijuana cigarettes and never coming back while his mom was in the kitchen doing some ungodly thing with those onions. Hmm. Okay. We won the game. Did we? I don't... Yeah. I don't know how. Are you sure? I'm, I think so. I think I'm looking right at it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Disenchant didn't seem to do anything. Could bring in Pillage against the port, but... Meh. Yeah, I'm so, I, I, we're also red as our kind of splash. I guess they're all kind of splashes, if you know what I mean. I bet you do, because was, I wasn't being figurative or anything. I was watching one of your videos the other day, forgot I wasn't watching live until I heard you addressing me in the video and I hadn't said anything. <laughs> Love it. I'll keep this hand. Really? Yeah, we can play two things. We have an extra land here. Any blue and we're great. Which we have like three sources of, four sources of. Prophetic Prism. It's like the best card in our deck. It's real good. Dang it. Bokeh. As long as they don't go like Lunark Mantle on this guy and start swinging for six every turn, I think we're okay. We're in the clear. I think we probably want the second red here. Probably want second white. Well, I felt like we were more likely to hit a second white naturally. That's true. But we do have things like Geist, so I guess that's fine. Well, that answers all our prayers, I guess. I also like Spike Shot Goblin because he just kills Fencing Ace. That's pretty cool. Maybe a Spike Shot Goblin here. Question of the day. If someone offered you tax-free $1.5 million, but you could never make another cent in your life, do you take it? Um, yep. God. Now I'm starting to wish this was Fetid Heath so we could uh, do the blocky block. A million and a half dollars is easily, easy to live off for the rest of your life. Look how, you like how this is... What What is going... Why is it... All right, hold on. Let's do some math. Let's say I have 60 years left, right? 60 divided by... Or actually, we'll do that because that's how you do it. 1, 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Divided by 60. It's only $25,000 a year. It's not... Yeah, but that's every year of your life. Like, without... Like, most people retire or you, like, get to... You can't work anymore. Like, yeah, but like well, you can't make another cent. So you have to budget $2,000 a year for the rest of your life. That means if you ever get a car... It has to go into that budget. So we're talking about 25000 a year. Let's say uh, divided by 26 weeks, right? Because there's 26 weeks in a year. Or 50, 52 weeks in a year. So you're getting... I guess we can just divide it by... Was it 26 or 25? 25. 25000 Yeah. Uh, divided by 52. So you're making about $480 a week, right? That's got to include rent. That's got to include... Um, car payment if you want a new car you know mm -hmm. it's got to include all this stuff so you can't invest it it's not like you can invest it and like plus like in 20 years from now what about inflation what if your twenty five thousand becomes more like eighteen thousand a year I, I feel like you're just putting yourself in a bad position don't put yourself in a bad really position gray. i don't know but it's really weird just another moto moto thing yeah just moto Hashtag things just moto things <laughs> 
like if you get a car that's like three hundred dollars out of your i guess you're making 480 so you're like two thousand dollars a month right so if you're let's say you're like you can never live in a house that costs more than like eight hundred dollars a month for you or else you have to really sacrifice i think we're dead this game just because of double epic confrontation killing all of our things if we draw a blue here we can cloud blazer that's pretty good we only have one card what's cloud blazer here that would be really cool if it was. Actually, we have no plays now, so see you later. I guess we could have got this guy out, but that doesn't really do much. That into God's Will. Eh, maybe that into God's Will. Eh, I think we're, I think we're still pretty close to dead there, so. <laughs> what if you... Well, yeah, Mike, what happens if you get a car? Well... As someone who has a car and makes less than that, I'm fine with it. You say that, but you're saying it like, as someone who has no desire to be in a better position than $408 a week. That's fair. I mean, like, you're, I feel like you're going to wake up one day in five years and be like, wow, I will never have more than $400 a week. <laughs> and it's going to be real sad. Hey, man, 480 Hashtag 480 <laughs> Hey Frank, remember for a while I had to stop subscribing? Yeah, I had to live on a bench for some for some of that. 480 weeks sounds pretty nice. Right, it sounds nice now. But then you've literally stuck. Like it's like it's to deal with the devil kind of situation, because like, yeah, it's great now. I would I, you know, that's a cool offer, right? $480 a week? Cool, dude. Take that. Whatever. It but it's really nothing in the grand scheme of things. I guess if you can't make a single cent, it's pretty rough. That's the rough part, yeah. Because it's not like you can sell, you can't even sell your things, right? Like, so if your car stops working, you can't sell your car. What if it is you can't make a single cent until you run out of the one point five million dollars? That seems ridiculous because then you could just spend it all immediately. <laughs> like, what? There's actually almost no downside to that, right? Like right. No, you think you're just getting <laughs> free money at that point. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good okay draw. I kind of just want to kill this idiot. I think that dual land is like the best draw in our deck every time we ever draw it. Yeah, it's real good. <laughs> oh, I did not do that deck. It was just updated. It was just uploaded in there. Hey, are we on a different match? No, same guy. Okay. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Now we're going to cycle this cougar to get a mountain. Plus, you're younger than me, so you probably have your money. It's probably less than that for you. It's true. Okay, hoping to draw a swamp here. <laughs> He's so excited. Well, we have supernatural stamina and lion in hand, so. Pretty good. As long as this guy survives, which is probably not because they have at least two epic confrontations, so. Yeah, apparently no one got a notice. We were wondering early why, like, oh, yes. We were wondering earlier why uh, it was taking everybody a while to get here. You showed up, though. That's what's important. Oh, we should have attacked there. They would have blocked with Griffin Protector, and then we could actually supernatural stamina. <laughs> Kill, kill this guy and then come back and eat this guy. Oh. You can still do that. Next turn. Barrel, 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 In the name of bats, this is a two for one. I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm just getting excited because all these sick plays. Yeah, I'll sick, take nasty, but, 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 but. sick, nasty, butt, butt, sick, nasty, butt, book. Can we draw a uh, land for this herbus protector? Nope.
Get in there, batty. They have one card. Our hand is Urbis Predictor, White Man Lion, Cloud Blazer. That's pretty good. So after this, we have Prophetic Prism and just Island in, in our deck to draw. Still seems fine. 1 in 13 chance. Uh, any chance of the concern of the Commander Radio Post? I haven't looked at it yet. So that's my bad. Commander idea. This intrigues me. I will look. At least you called it Commander. And not Generals. <laughs> oh. Skeleton eyes. They're watching you. They see your every move. I hope you don't have an instant speed creature. Oh, you have God Dwelling. Okay. That's a good one. It's somewhere lost in all this text. I can't find it. Yeah, it's real hard to keep up with. Oh, not not attacking you now. So they have one card. What did they do? They put it on top? Ooh, I wonder what it is. Was that a watch wolf? Was that a cutie? But you know I have choops. Choopa choops. No beats. What's the commander idea? Just just hit us up with it. Can this get a... Uh, oh, it's a planes card. So you can actually get a tundra with this guy. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's a good thing we have a tundra, right? <laughs> it, is a good, it is a good thing that we have that. Oh, look. Get a little... Dr. Schadenport over here. I'll tap one of your black mana. <laughs> nah, he's tapping down a white. Oh. He don't care. Well, because this is double white. Nah, got it anyway. Don't care. Look at this, look at this bat going to do, do work. I would cycle this just for our seventh land to make sure we can cast this, but I think it's actually just better to wait because this is a great threat once we get a... Any land is just this guy's great, so. Oh, it doesn't matter, I guess. They're just hitting mono lands. Kindle you were into. Chatting about playing Commander with Frank for a $20 buy in. $20 buy in? It's like $20 and you can play a match with Frank? Is that, that what's going on? Well, that, 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 that shouldn't go to me. That's expensive. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh, uh, I I did, didn't I didn't have plans to go see Ready Player One. I haven't read the book though, so I'm not really like I don't have any kind of connect connection to Ready Player One. Sure, it looked alright. It looks fine. I'm 33 and I live in the most expensive country on Earth. Five million dollars would let me live a very comfortable life, assuming I died around 83. Yeah, but it wasn't for five million. It was one point five million. Yeah, you start up into five million. We got a different story. Five million, and I'm in game. I'm game all day. <laughs> yeah, five million would be pretty nice. I mean, five million turns it into one hundred twenty-five thousand a year, which is that's fine. I'll comfortably I'll, I'll live off that for sixty years. Yeah, one point five million is it, it, the the stipulation was for one point five. Completely different, as you can imagine. I have opinions about it. I said no freaking way. I want to see a movie of that book. Why? What's the what's the the issue there? Is there some controversy there? Controversy. This hand is great. I don't. I don't even understand how you could not. Snapper. This is the biggest. This is the best snapper I've ever seen. So we're either really dead or really fine. Hard to tell, though. Mike's rubbing his eyes, though. I don't even know if you saw this card. What? They open on Vessel of Nascency. So I'm like, we're either real good or real bad. There's no in between. Search for a creature or land. Because you liked it in book form or because the book was drivel? Because that junk was straight up cold Chef Boyardee. <laughs> what 
What did they get? Island. Put Briny, Wooly Loxodon, and Giant Growth in the graveyard. So they took Island. That's cool. Oof, we're doing well. We're on we're on course to draw this, my friend. Of course, of course, we're on here, a horse. Here comes a morph because it's a green blue deck. Oh, just an Ember Weaver. Oh, Ember Weaver. I believe I can play this guy instead of the Mohors. Ember Weaver. I got nothing here. You guys are just listening to me singing Dream Weaver to the tune of Ember Weaver. It's not great. I apologize that this is how you spend your afternoon and your evening. And that some of you have uh, paid money to subscribe to my stream and support me. Uh, I appreciate that, but I do apologize for your misfortune. Mistakes were made uh, somewhere along the line, I think, and uh, I appreciate wow. your, your support. I did hear the depiction of the women thing. I did hear that, which is pretty unfortunate. Um, do we just attack into this guy and then God's willing? I like scrying. Why don't you scry about it? Uh, no thanks. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm blue, da boo dee, da boo die, boo da boo dee, da boo die. Just get in there. Do your, do your business. That's a good eat. I will give you pro greenums. Yeah, we'll keep that Probably on top. Keep that. I don't want to be too greedy. Hi, Frank Mike. Second time watching the stream. Are you guys roommates? Frank seems like a cool roommate. Thoughts, Mike? <laughs> Mike moved uh, in earlier this the, year. So, yeah, he's, he's the worst roommate I've ever had. Wow. Wow. I wonder if we can... Uh, if we're going to have any problems going active hero heroism to untap this and make this a 5-3. And then supernatural stamina to... I guess we can just block with the active heroism here if we really don't want to take 4... Actually, we could just go, we can untap act and then block both of these, but wow. What happened? They just returned two islands to draw two. All I'm going to do is times. play Cloud Blazer. Yeah, that's fine. That is desperate times. You're right. I like this because we have Cloud Blazer and. Herbus Protector mana and Chupacabra mana. We have all the mana right now. I also get to draw two, but I'm also gaining two life and get a 2-2 two -two floater. Ooh. Excuse me, sir. There's something wrong with you? Yeah. Do you need me to drew, call a doctor? We just drew the sweetness... Is that what they used to call you? Used to. <laughs> oh, I see. What are you? What you bounce? Gotta bounce this guy, right? Yeah, I'm like, pl please bounce this. Get on my Urbis protecting level. Don't play another. Sure. He's playing that card. Desperate times. You ain't wrong. I guess we'll just keep going at you. So we got five cloud shift. We can keep stamina, cloud shift, and skeletonize up. That's probably what we're doing. I guess we also just play this guy. 
Yeah, I don't know why I wouldn't. Because you touch yourself, Michael. Hmm. Huh. Hey. Her. Her. Hey. Oh, he's really Beep. going ham here. Boop, boop. Yeah, you can have that guy. Nobody cares. This is comical. I wonder if this is actually good in this in this life. It's probably going to gain him some life. Gain him's McManums. This cloud shift and block. Yeah. I guess at worst. They counter it? Well, I don't even think they counter it, but I'm just thinking like, nope, they didn't they didn't counter it. Alright. We could also actually, here's what we're gonna do. This is gonna be the best. Supernatural stamina. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the one more well they have a tree so they got a lot of time oh yeah stupid tree actually if we attack with like 14 damage wow snaring bridge well that's pretty gross I don't know how they beat us but I guess we can still attack with the clown and the flyer. We can attack with two of the flyers still. And we can act one of them and Bloodhunter Bat post combat. Three, four, five. I don't believe we have any outs to the steering bridge, though. We have double pillage in the sideboard. Oh, in the deck, you mean? Yeah, in the main. Three, four, five, six, seven. Puts our life total to 13 again. It wouldn't take too long. I think the clock's going to be super relevant in this game. <laughs> Whatever, man. Are you going to do a little flippy-do? You better flip ems. Oh, this guy's going to be unable to attack. These guys can attack, but they're terrible. They can attack. They just don't want to. Right. Because they're terrible. These guys are still powerful. Powerful wizards. You have to discard. You have to get rid of three cards. Oh, you just killed my, one of my powerful wizards. That's unfortunate. I like my powerful wizard. Okay, so you don't have a blue card in your hand. That's good to know, I guess. Playing Staring Bridge in your main deck is really weird. And limited, especially. Like, don't you also have creatures that you want to attack? Yeah, I mean, this is limited. How else are you winning the game? I don't know. They got a blue sun zenith he's going to try to deck us with? <laughs> Wow, that's a solid play with an ensnaring bridge on the board. Yeah, super useful. It is not. Ooh, Nietzsche was a hack. Everyone's got their everyone's got their opinions on Nietzsche. I don't. Yeah, well. Everyone but you, I guess. I do not. Can Kindle go to the face? Yeah. 
So we'd have two Kindles in the deck. That's five damage by itself. This is my little bird. You got it. Oh, that's relevant, because now they can, like, attack with these one guys and then pump them. Eyes of a Skeleton, 481. I do exist, and I like round numbers. Wow. That's amazing. Oh, my God. <laughs> Why? It's just a thing. <laughs> I'd like to get rid of this Wild Heart Invoker, or I'd like to just draw... Nope, that's not what we're looking for here. I do. We they have, do exist. We have a lot of toughness on board. We can't. He has one card left. That's that's sad. Although we can make a one-one spirit, eventually. This is ridiculous. Look, look with your skeleton eyes. Actually, we can also just triple block whatever they pump. Yeah. What do you bounce here? Skeleton? Gotta be Angel, right? You bounce your own Fathoms here. Interesting. That is interesting. Can we kindle that guy? <laughs> do we want to? I mean, it forces them to either flip it or not flip it, but then they die, so... I mean, we win the long game here because they're going to deck themselves first, so. That's true. Okay, I'm not going to yield to that anymore. Can I get a big choops? The answer is no. No big choops for you. I guess eventually he could kill his own snaring bridge and attacks with the giant. Well, he could draw a bunch with the Fathom Seer, right? Like, draw two cards, return two islands, then alpha. But, you know, whatever. He still has to wait to answer his own bridge. Bounce your tree. No, we're killing that. You don't get to live again. <sighs> Sorry, bro. Then they just replay tree and they get another 13 life. That ain't happening. I guess Not we'll just keep passing. Watch. This is, Boy, this is an exciting match. Oh, yeah. Thrilling. Sorry, guys. No, you have no cards in hand, so nothing can attack. I kind of just want to kill this guy. <laughs> yeah, it's the only thing that can threaten us, so. Enjoy your life. Look with your skeleton. I guess that's his way to win. Adjacent the mind sculptor. Well, that's pretty hard to beat. <sighs> so they opened the snaring bridge, mind sculptor, and tree of redemption. That's cool. Must be nice. Enjoy your seventy ticket draft. Wow. That's really frustrating. That's about the most frustrating thing that could happen. So I guess I know why they're playing bridge. We just don't have any cards that interact with bridge, so we can't. We just can't win. Cool. Cool. 
Guess we don't get to look at the rest of the deck. Okay. Goblin actually would have been reasonable. Just shoot them to death, but I think they're going to win before that. No, you come back in, you come back in. I don't know why you left. Um, I'm tempted to bring in Cinderstorm. Uh, Red Elemental Blast can definitely come in. So can Pillage. Destroy the bridge. So can Pillage. Disenchant could also come in. Do they have anything else that we care about enchantment-wise? No. I don't want to bring in too many answers because... It's Is pretty... Disenchant just better than Pillage? No, because they also have Cascade Bluffs. Okay. Which seemed to be their only red source, so... Wow, that was so dumb. Yep. <laughs> oh, love losing to the uh, the old Jace ensnaring bridge deck. Mm-hmm. It's disgusting. So literally 70 tickets. 75 tickets. <sighs> That's true. They didn't open tree. It was past them. Good call. Good call. Uh, Spike shot seems fine. I mean, when they have a Jace, I'll take anything I can get to deal damage directly to it. I don't think we have to pump it. One damage to any creature when there's so many one toughness creatures in the format is very good. Plus one damage a turn is just fine. It's decent against Bridge. Probably would have won us the game. Yeah. yeah. We got it earlier. Agreed. Wow, and that was like such a good hand too. Remember that? We were like, wow, this hand is this hand is phenomenal. Probably the best hand we could get. But alas, no. Not good enough for the ensnaring bridge. We're doing it. Give me a red or a white. Not what I meant. Macroma. <laughs> Burbus Protector. Oh, that's Ooh, good. That was good. That was a great draw. Now I'll just play you. An Arcane Denialist? Didn't, didn't think so, nerd. <laughs> Uh, we didn't put Disenchant in because we have Pillage. I'm not going to put like four different cards in for for one Ensnaring Bridge. Does the same thing. Sure. Yeah, Pillage also, they also have Cascade Bluffs, which Pillage kills, which seem to be their only red source. So it just seems like a better card than Disenchant when they, we didn't see any other enchantments, so. Okay. What do we think this is? My dad. <laughs> He's right, it is his dad. How are you going to cast that? You know, I don't know. I forgot about things. Okay. Do, 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 uh. Yeah, I would assume it's uh, Fathom's here as well. That's the only thing we saw, so. Hey, Frank and Little Cheeseburger. <laughs> that is my name. <laughs> that is his name. You're right. That's Little Cheeseburger. Little CB. Yeah, we have not seen any counter spells, which is nice. We have seen a Jace the Mind Sculptor, which is less nice. Oh, look at that guy. It's going to be a mountain off the top, which is nice. Ready? That was a red card. I thought you were gonna thought you were gonna be friendly about things, but apparently not. 
I'm tempted to just white main lion this Dusk Legion Zealot and then replay it to hit a land. How do you feel about that? Me too. I always want to like click on this to choose a thing, but mountain. All right, that'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. How much of how much her draft stiff of Mike growing out his hair into a rat tail? <laughs> well, that would take a long time. Doesn't matter, man. You got to be committed. Jason the Mind Sculptor. So annoying. Buys him so much time. Oh no, it doesn't. We got choop, we got big choops. Oh, yeah, big chooperino. Take your tree and get the hell out of here. Nobody has time for your BS. Okay. How much red is it to unmorph Chroma? Three. Okay, that's never happened. It's a two-two. Plus, we can flip it if we draw Cloud Shift or Supernatural Stamina. He's like, nah, God play Jace. Another one? All right. I don't think I care about any of these morphs, man. Yep, there we go. It's going to be real exciting. It's not. We can still attack with our spirit. Got him. We did got him. You're right. I'll kill this new one. Fortune Thief. Eh, we don't kill. Eh, I don't think we care about this guy. Do you want to flip? Didn't think so. Just get in there. I hope you have a red card in hand that you can never play, so we get to just kill you with the spirit. We also need a second red to cast. One one consideration is that we pillage is two red, whereas disenchant yeah, is one white, that. so that is worth considering. We could probably change that next game. Yeah, it's fine. I guess we at least play Herbus Protector. I mean, we have time, so not really too concerned. Until they slam Jace. Like, the the entire point of their deck is being in top deck mode, so. Yeah, if they hit Jace before we hit second red pillage, I guess that's fair. Sure. Your snake get real big. Yeah, so you can see why Spike Shot would be good here. <laughs> Vessel of... Nozzle C. That's not what that's called. Can I give pro artifacts? No. That's sad. And that's not how that works anyway. Look, it's the most powerful card in Legacy. <laughs> sure. Counterspell. Can't get that. You get Brine Elemental, I guess. Brine Elemental into the hand. Sure. I also have Pickle Walk. <laughs> I mean, we haven't seen it if they do, so. Oh, big Brines. You can play Geist now. Just don't even care. It seems irrelevant. Yeah, it's relevant if, like, we top deck a mountain and a pillage. Well, then we're just going to kill them anyway. Oh, yeah, they're only five. Okay. What are you bouncing here? Angel? Probably Angel. I don't see a reason Maybe to bounce morph? Else. Yeah, we're going to give that pro blue. Seems good. Put them to two. 
God, where's the other Kindle when you need it? It's actually super relevant. The other Kindle? If we get a Cloud Shift, we can actually win the game. How? Oh, Bat? Yeah, Cloud you're right, actually. Bat and Kindle their face, yeah. That's a good point. So we got outs. We do have outs, outs, outs. And we know their tree is gone. Cloud shift one time off the tippity top top. That's a swampity swamp swamp. Oh boy. Exciting game. Is it though? Another morph. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, that's great. Hey, that was an answer, Jace. That's a good point. That's that's why I said it was great. I just want to be clear. What are you going to do? Flip your, your pickles up? Cool. Oh, your Willy locks it on. Got it. I don't know why I didn't just hard cast that guy. Yeah, don't care. Cast all the more of you'd like. This is exactly what we wanted. Now it makes our pillages live. Live from pillage, it's Saturday night. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know why I said that. If they had fling, I'd be a little scared of this guy. They could have it. Actually, I don't think fling is in this It's side. not in this format, otherwise this guy would be amazing. And these guys would be so much better. Sure. None of these cards actually matter. We're just looking for one of two cards. Either a pillage. Or a cloud shift. And the best thing is we know they don't have cards in their hands. So. Or they, yeah, they don't have any cards, so... Oh boy. Yeah, fine. I hope you can't I hope you can't play either of the two cards in your hand. I hope they're both red. I hope they're two lands so that we have a one mana so that our one mana our one our one toughness guy can get through. Are they going to pass the two cards in their hand? Don't they die? What? I accept. I don't accept that. Block. Sure. Oh, we should have blocked with the bat. Oh, yeah, it's true, and then Supernatural Stamina. Yeah. God, we're so bad at this game. I didn't think that had giant growth, though, because that's pretty weird. That's pretty obscure. It doesn't really matter. Like, we can counter their Jace, so... They also have eight cards in their deck. Yep. Here it is. Oh, just a Mana War. Okay. This time you might get the Angel, buddy. You got it. Hey, draw a card. It's my favorite fighting game. Um, Injustice Two is pretty cool. It's pretty pretty dope. But I do love me some Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, look, a Spike Shot Goblin. Gonna win us the game. I feel like we haven't played Dragon Ball enough. We should play more Dragon Ball. What's stopping us? Your whole life? Hmm. Well, nothing. I just don't... I don't think we've just... We haven't just have initiated it. 
Sure, man, you got it. No one taps. That oracle is out of control. Oracle? The snake thing. Yeah, another guy's going to attack ever, so. Wow, that guy again, huh? I'll take one. But why? This time we will bat. Actually, we don't. We have to keep the blue up in case they draw Jace, so. I'm sorry, what are you doing? He's pumping it with his one dude. Oh, sure. Still pretty irrelevant. Irrelevant, you said? Yeah. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> Comical. We also could have, uh, well, I guess we couldn't have last time, but we could have blocked and then shot it with spike shot goblin if that was a thing, but they have 12 lands, so they are quite a, quite a few away from, uh, stamina on the goblin plus kindred equals one on the board. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's a good point too. So we get to untap next turn. All right, I'll do this. I don't actually think you can do anything ridiculous here. Also, we can let him resolve Jace. We can just kill it afterwards. Or we can just kill them with Kindle because we're going to bat this guy. Can I just shoot this now? <laughs> nice. Solid. Okay. So you're probably dead here? No, you're 100% dead, right? There's one card in hand, so it has to be a counter spell. And if it, well, we've got Relevant to Blast, so whatever. Oh, yeah. Rev OP. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, let's switch out for Disenchant. Yeah, your deck's annoying, and you should feel bad. I also like Disenchant because you can do it end of their turn. And then attack with only your guys, so they don't get the they don't get the free attack there. Right. I wonder if Cinder Cinderstorm actually seems great in this matchup. Yeah, we've got him pretty low. Probably better than a Chroma. Yeah. Assuming like, he has bridge at some point, Chroma's really bad. And like by the time you get to a Chroma, like they're probably gonna have bridge. So. Yeah, this is pretty stupid. <laughs> like, take your seventy ticket deck and hit the bricks, <laughs> please. Oh, keep this hand all day. Yeah, it's got all our colors. It's pretty hard to argue. And it has very good cards in uh, the form of... Reb. Reb is really relevant. Mountain? Swamp. I like that better. Angry Baby hits players too. Man, I've forgotten how good... What the hell is Angry Baby? Spike Shot Goblin, maybe? Oh, is that what it is? That's hilarious. I don't care about any of your morbs. Except the good ones. But other than that, I don't care. Oh, is that all? Yes. His morbs is. have been like Fathom Seers, right? It's That's Seer, it? Dragons, the, the 06, uh, Wooly, and there was one other, I think. They actually yeah, had, a good, super relevant. They had a good mix of them. I wish we had more cheap stuff, but sure. That guy's a little annoying. Seems you can just skeletonize him next turn, though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. Burn, 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 burn. Or we can just block him this turn. <laughs> that's also an option. Yeah. Now you have a mana warrior sift. That's fine. Sift as much as you want. I have a mana war out, is that what you just said? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brian Elemental. That was the other one. Big Brines. If there's an attack with it, it's probably Brian Elemental or Wooly. Don't attack with anything. I like it. I accept. I like it a lot. We, I feel like we can't keep the Elemental Blast shield. We can't take the shields down. I mean, you can just kill the Jace afterwards. Like, if he taps out for Jace, he gets one value out of it. Yeah, that's actually a good point. I forgot about that. I will not worry about it too much. 
So what do we do then? Skeletonize this guy. Attack for dose. That seems good. This is where they blew a mental blast it. <laughs> no, I'd be glad. Oh, they did have they did have giant growth. No, what? Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, okay, yeah. that's fine. I would have cried, dude. I'd be happy for them to waste it, though. We did see giant growth. We did also see counterspell at some point. They do have that. Yep. I'm a bit wasted, but I do love you guys. Chat and clear. Hey, my dog's name Pig. Love you too, buddy. Did you like that time where old Poshi griefed me with advanced humor? I won't admit I li What's going on right now? God, Skeletonize feel always feels like such good value. It's pretty good. It's really good. We can play this guy next turn and keep this up, which is great. That's a big, big. It's a big dude. It's a little scary. I was hoping for a chupacabra there. Yeah, that would have been good. Do you like chupacabras? I'm playing this guy all day. Do you like Pact of Negation? Is that a card that you have? Hey, Herbus. Big Burby. Herby Burby. You can also triple block this guy, which I'm not terribly opposed to, to be quite honest. Except for the blowout potential. He did show us giant growth. Shut up. I wait till they have open mana. Or wait till they don't. <laughs> Can you yeah. just play just play in Snaring Bridge now? Like I'd be fine with it. You got a big guy. Also, Cinderstorm kills this guy. Oof, aggressive. So this is just Brian Elemental, right? It's something. It's just Brian Elemental. Oh my god, tap slower. Oh, it's oh. Willy Thoktar. Willy locks it on. Yeah. That was good. Chupamacabra. Still not a Chupamacabra. Let's draw a card. I was just going to play Herbus Protector. Doesn't do too much for us here. Guess it's a block at least. Not a very good one. Chump block this guy, take six less. I mean, drawing a card does nothing for us. We literally, then we have to chump block with this. At least next time we can play this, and then if that yields nothing, we can play Templar. We also have six, we also have, we can triple block this guy or double block this guy if we want to. Get him off the board. It's not great, but... I made a pie chart of all your A25 direct archetypes. There is a huge chunk labeled Blinky Boys, but also a small sliver called Spicy Cheese Sticks. <laughs> Love it. Huh. Love it. That's my favorite thing ever. Yeah, I think we're passing here. Sure. Oh, the giant growth is not in their hand. I repeat, giant growth not in hand. Uh, codal codal in hand. Giant growth would actually be a blowout here. Oh, it'd be it'd be the dirtiest. I mean, if they have epic confrontation, it's also very bad. Which is they're kind of sitting on two mana here. Oof. <sighs> because of course you do. Why can't that card be blue? I don't know why anything can't be anything. 
Why can't the stupid dread mob be blue? Well, I don't think we can avoid this anymore. Yeah, I think we have to. Wow, you went from Come on, shoot. Hmm. Not the worst. It's not very good, though. It does put us to seven, though, which survives a hit. Let's make sure we play a land. We need all the mana we can get. Come on, Cloud Shift into Chupa Boy. Could cycle the Noble Templar. It's true, but it actually gives us a block next turn, right? Go to one. No, uh, that guy's trample, so it doesn't really actually do anything for us, right? Yeah. No, I guess it does block the... Sure. Don't care about that at all right now. Snaring Bridge. Dang. Please. Please and Snaring That'd be Bridge. Hilarious. I just don't think cycling does anything, but we're going to draw nothing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 6 on here, 2 on here, Geist on here. Like, it does something. We're not dead. God. It's gonna be <sighs> fun deck. Enjoy your seventy tickets. Always good to lose to the Jason Mindscald Ram Staring Ridge deck. Never, never good to do that. <laughs> It's almost like he should have lost because he already won the draft. It feels it like it's fair. It's entitlement. I mean, it's totally entitlement. It's totally doesn't make sense at all. But like, you're already walking away with seventy tickets. Like, do you really need the extra packs or? Just go home. You did your job. Seems good. It's got all the colors of the rainbow. <laughs> you got everything you wanted. Just leave me alone. He's already dead. <laughs> yeah. Stop! <laughs> He's already dead. <laughs> That's me. That's me right now. Yep. I'm pretty sure we're just cycling Ash Barons to get a Swamp. How do you feel about that, boy? It was okay. Well, I like opponent, these thumbnails, though. I like our opponent who... Oh, these are good thumbnails. Wow. I like most of these things. I like that our opponent missed our... Did they mulligan? It's weird. So they kept their hand... But they kept a one lander. Looks like they got there. Get rewarded. Most powerful spell in all of Legacy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I don't know. This is weird. Oh, the choop that keeps on giving. What is he giving you? Uh, murder is the case that they he gave them. All right, you got an accumulated knowledge. You got it. 
I feel like this Kindle might be pretty good in this matchup. Huh. I guess they're like, we got accumulated knowledge in hand. We can keep this. And I was all, no big dog. You can't. Do I just choop this guy? I totally choop this guy, right? I think so. Like, we already have another Path of Peace, and we can we have, like, multiple ways to get Chupacabra back if we need it. I'd rather just spend the four mana, because next turn we can Dauntless Cathar and keep Kindle up. We can also Chartooth Cougar for a third red, so we can put a Chroma down, search for the red, flip her, and then what does the pro blue Chroma do against the blue deck? Not much. The, well... Reverse what I said. Right? Like, what, is the, what does the blue deck do against the pro blue Chroma? Is really what we're getting at here, right? Yes. Stop! He's already dead! Cast face down. I guess we just hope they don't kill her. Oh, they are going to draw two. Such value. Wow. You're right. The value is so real. <laughs> but my dreams, they will be flipping. Like As my sausage seems to fade. Your sausage seems to fade? Yep. I have no idea what that means. Just think about it. I'm not thinking about it. Oh, the other There's one. The other chroma. Hey, it's her sister. <laughs> Yay. Does she have trample? Of course she does. Are you ready? <laughs> Feeling good. I almost want you to block because I only have to waste one damage on your little nerd. Look at this. Look, you can look at my mana and you can be like, it could be anything. I have no idea. Fading sausage does sound like a personal problem. I'm sorry you're experiencing it, Michael. What's happening right now? Oh, it's got to be white. I don't know what's wrong with me. There we go. We figured it out. Boom, 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 boom. If they have double Kindle, I guess that's good, right? Are they going to try to play a blue thing against this? Yep. Oh. That's not going to work. That's It's targeting it. <laughs> no, yeah. that's not going to do what you think it does, my friend. If you'd like to bounce a Ravenous Chupacabra, though, by all means. Hey, man, are you trying to say something without saying something about your fading sausage? Is that a euphemism? Yeah. <laughs> That has to go on the soundboard, right? My opponent's probably like, why can't I target it? I don't understand. You gotta replace something, man. I know. You're right. What gets replaced? Has there been some you haven't used? Vape, Vape Nation can probably go. Yeah, it doesn't really come up too often. Because it's not really relevant. It's just funny. That was a nice retraction helix turn where they're just like, you know what? I, I, I respect the fact that you have a 6-6 six, six pro blue acroma in your deck. Because I respect it so much, I will throw this Retraction Helix in the trash can for you. I guess they can Cinder Storm it eventually. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But outside of that. It's not... I mean, by that point, we'll just have other Acroma in play, so... Can we just win with double Acroma? That's really all I want to do. One more mana and we can do it. Oh, that's going to do it next turn. And now we need Triple White. We have it. Do we? It's Rugged Prairie. Oh, yeah. Tap the red. Yeah. Red, okay. Rugged Prairie is our MVP land in this deck, dude. I wonder if we pump three here. Doesn't matter. Paying cost. Lightning Bolt. Big Choops. That's fine. Snapcast. Yeah, I'll just Fire Breathe them next turn to kill them. Oh, look. So. They're digging here. We can just what next turn to kill them? We can just pump our chroma. That's fire breathing. 
Well, yeah, but I'd rather just win with both. <laughs> like, seriously, wouldn't you rather just win with both? Just rub it in? Yeah. For the values? Oh my god, twistedimage.deck over here. Vape Nation! They conceded. They correctly identified the larger threat and killed the Chupacabra. <laughs> oh, Red Elemental Blast. Come, come in and do the Lord's work for us. Yeah, that seems good. That's all we really saw. What do we cut? Nothing. Okay. I think you mean... Okay! <laughs> God. Hey, can you show me where the products are? Wherever the fading sausage is. Can you stop? What is the fading sausage? Is that a joke? I don't. I just said it once. And you just made it up? Yeah. There's oh, no, God. There's no context to it. Yeah, but a lot of times you say random things and they just become memes. I'm a meme machine. Mm. I don't like this hand. No, this hand's garbage. Why would you ever keep this? This is a lot better. What are you doing, man? Quit messing around. We're playing. But my conscience seems to be. God, everyone loves the turn one brainstorm. It's so weird. Fading sausage is one of those random things that's become. Yeah, that's all it does. It's just you say a random thing, and now it's just oh, a thing. Oh, most powerful card in all of Legacy. The meme seeds have been planted. Yeah. Now it's going to spring into a mighty sa fading sausage tree. I don't care about that guy, even if he deals me 10 damage. I think I want a blue here. I mean, we have Cloud Blazer, so I'm pretty sure we do. Chupacabra. I accept. Deals us two, we play a third land. Deals us two, we play a fourth land. Deals us two, we play a fifth land. We get two back. So we're actually going to go to 16 if everything works out. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Which one are you reading? The Poshies. <laughs> oh, the Fancil Beast like Mimitars? Yeah, I can get I can get behind that. Yeah, sure. Cycle that dude in for another 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 bluesers. The triple bluesers deck. Prophetic Prism. That'll do. I accept that as well. Do you ever have your play against new players that where they thought like if they were able to untap your creature, uh, it would not be attacking anymore? So if they had like a card that untapped a guy, they would be like, okay, you guys are not attacking anymore? And you're like, no, dude, it doesn't work like that. I've never had that interaction. Really? Mm -mm. Interesting. I kind of want to kill this merfolk looter, to be honest with you. How do you feel about that? It's okay. I mean, I assume they have a counter spell, but it's fine trade. Yeah, I mean, if they get, it gets out of your hand, sure. Cool. Yep. I would have preferred an arcane denial, but so be it. So would my Dade. Oh, this just kills this guy automatically, anyway. So whatever. But my mic be claims to be. Oh, lightning bolt. Cool. I have our... They have two cards in hand, though, so... I'd be lying if I said I was That's cool. super concerned with that. Skeleton eyes. Turn around. Turn around, skeleton eyes. Every now and then I fall apart. And I need my eyes tonight. I need my skeleton <laughs> eyes forever. Really sent you on the loop there. Send you on a loop. Yeah. I had a guy who was convinced you could play all the lands in your hand every turn. I had him, by the way. He was mine. <laughs> oh, God. Are you going to give this guy unblockable? Seems fine. That seems great. That's like five mana. Are you going to spend your turn doing that? 
How's the battle going? Well, just fine. Just fine. I'll block. Seems like a totally fine trade. We get to trade a skeleton eyes for a coral helm and a merfolk looter. That's value. Thumbs Blah. up. Blah. Let's draw two cards and gain two. I mean, I assume they're going to counter this, but maybe not. Oh. <gasps> and we get to keep God's willing up. Oh, my God. And next turn, we get the white main lion. Did we open Jace? No. Who is your tag team partner? Uh, this is my friend Mike B, who is always here. Well, not always. Every day. Most days. Turn around, my guys. Did our opponent open Jace? Yes. Yes. Not this opponent, hopefully. All right, so I think this opponent's dead. I mean, he's got time. Does he? Blue. Bottom. Well, the next card's going to be Chupacabra, and we're going to feel real silly. Probably. Who would win, a counters deck or two Beardy Boys? <laughs> beardy Boys, ob. Oh, looks like those beardy boys are at it again. <laughs> Uh-oh, six mana. Never fails. I have a curiosity in my hand. Good game, sir. I actually don't know how he beat that, even if he doesn't have a curiosity. Three, three, four, five, one, two... He didn't fall for it. Dang. God, I think the only reason you play the red-blue deck is because you have stupid nib -Mizzet. It's a pretty good reason. It's a pretty good reason. Swamp Choop. Come on, Swamp Choop. Well, this, we got Swamp. Linner, five minutes in a row. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Mindstep Thrall, thank you so much. I'm glad you uh, glad you could finally catch a live stream. A lot, of, a lot of people say that, actually. They're always like, first time catching live. I was hoping they, fall, they fell for it. They didn't. They did not. Oh, wow. Got any more in there? No, that was the first one, thankfully. All right, cool. I was afraid it was a three for, but that was last game. So, all right, save the relic on the blast for Niv Mizzet now. Yep, we figured it out. Accumulated knowledge for two. Machine gun down the board. Also, the two brainstorms in your deck make a lot more sense now. They're like lightning bolts. Uh, they're called Lightning Boys. Give me a big, give me a big. Oh, oh you, yes. Oh, Back in the game, boys. Well, I guess we'll find out. I mean, you guess he could have a counter spell, but that's life. They have two cards. Now they have three. Let's see if one of them is a. No. Some way to make his guy live. Shooting us. It's a good sign. It means they don't really have other cards to draw, I guess. Ah, oh, dang it. It's annoying. Yep. I guess we do get attack for five here. And we get to draw a bunch of cards, so that's okay, I guess. And we're all living back in a run. Of 
cool. You're going to kill my little baby lion? Little lion man? I will draw both. No Kindles in the graveyard. But this is a lot of damage, these three, so... Might be onto something here. That's annoying. It sure is. Sure is. Can we draw a second Kindle just to shoot this guy in the face and be done with it? That's pretty good. Uh, you're right. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. We can also keep Supernatural Stamina, but that doesn't matter because she has Pro Black. Black and red, which is pretty relevant. Let's see if you got another counter spell. Beep. beep. <laughs> I'm a chroma. Oh, remember that time she had haste? Yeah. Me, me too. I hope you don't have totally lost, but I guess we'll just replay her next turn if you do. I don't think you do. There are two. We have a Kindle in hand. You just gotta fade a turn. What do you call a meal you eat after dinner once you're drunk and alone? I call that dessert. Nice. <laughs> Fantastic. So you have to have an answer for a chroma, which you didn't last turn. And you also have to have a counterspell for Kindle, which you didn't last turn or else you would have countered a chroma. So, unless you can machine... That doesn't do anything. No, it draws in a card. So they can, pro red. this is two damage, but like, I'm trying to figure out if they can machine gun kill us this turn with like double accumulated knowledge. That would only be I mean, five they, damage. They need to draw us, they have to draw 12 cards in a turn. Well, so. 10 now. Sure. I mean, I'd be impressed if they could do it. Well, one of those is a land, so I don't think it's possible now, but I guess they could go double accumulated knowledge. That's five more damage. They still have five more damage to do after that. Yeah, I don't see it happening. I guess if they have a blue sun zenith, but that would be for one, two, three, four, five. It's still not Seven, enough. Seven, eight. They have eight mana. So no, it'd be, yeah, it'd be five. They they have five, right? So it's still not enough. We won! Hooray! Ooh, win with a chroma once, win with a chroma twice. That's pretty sweet. Uh, first game we win with red chroma. Second game we win with white chroma. And the second round we lost to Jason Snaring Bridge. So I say we came out about even. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed the content. If you did, smash those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you next time. Smash them.